All right, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, a concept on the serve that you're going to really get a lot out of. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this junior player that I've been working with in the past. And the serve has been a challenge. And so today we want to focus on uh, where the racket hand is in this position, in this trophy position right here. Okay, we want to focus on that. And we want to focus on something that I call the collapsed knee. So what I want you to notice is that when this player tosses the ball, I like to see where's the racket, where's the racket when the ball is released. You can see a slight bend in the tossing arm, but look how straight this arm is, and there's no shoulder turn at all. So see how the, there's no shoulder turn, there's no shoulder turn, no shoulder turn, no shoulder turn. And then finally the shoulder turns in this position. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. So if we come over here to my warm-up serve here, let's look at what happens. When I release the ball, look at how much I've turned already releasing the ball. That's what I'm wanting more players to practice doing. So again, if you look at this motion right here, it's again, it's, it's all, it's tossing arm, and then it's arm moving up slowly, but there isn't a lot of shoulder turn. Now we get to the trophy position right here. Now let's look at the trophy position and let's look at the difference. Look at the difference in the position there. Look at where the hand is in relation to the head. If I were to throw a football or a baseball, this is a good position. You can see a right angle with the hand. You can see, you know, relaxed wrist. The racket is straight up and down uh, right here. Now, look at the difference in the angle here. This is a big angle. This is not a right angle. The hand is too far away from the head. It's disconnected, what I call disconnected from the body. And then you can see because of that, the racket position, the racket is facing this direction, whereas mine's straight up and down. So this wrist is a little stiffer here. But the big thing is how far away this hand is in the trophy position. And then it actually drops further away. So look at that disconnection right there. Look at how straight that arm is. This player has been having arm problems for a couple of years. Look at how tight and compact mine is. Everything is connected. Look at the separation here. Look at the connection here. So I go to hit the serve. Look at where the hand is at the racket. Start When I start to drop the racket, it's less than 90 degrees with the upper arm and the lower arm closer to the head. And look at how this one drops away. And so this hand, we call this a high hand, is above the elbow. If it's above the elbow, it's a high hand. Let's see what I do here. We were able to get it slightly below the elbow or just in line with the elbow. But that's only because this hand is so far away. You can't externally rotate the shoulder as much when you do that. So look at where that racket is compared to mine dropped behind the body. You can also notice in this position right here, look at where this hand is. It's pretty low away from the body, mine is up higher. This is a better position for the hand. So, you know, that's, that's the big thing I would work on with this player is make a first move with a shoulder turn and find, find the racket, find the hand so that it's closer to the head in the trophy position. You know, to the, to the naked eye, this looks like a good position, but it's not. This lower hand has to be closer, a lower arm has to be closer to the body. I also mentioned earlier in the video about a collapsed knee. Look at how this knee collapses in towards this knee a little bit. That's because there's, there's probably not hip stability here, so this knee is collapsing in. There also might be some challenges with uh, ankle mobility here. If you notice my serve here, uh, this knee stays out over this foot right here. There's, there's more flexion of the ankle, dorsiflexion. Probably, I've got the hip stability to push off. It's not collapsing in. So there's two big issues going on with the serve. Hand being too far away from the head and the knee collapsing in. These things can be corrected both technically and by upgrading how the body works so that things are more efficient. The serve is more efficient. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love to break down serve videos, being the serve surgeon, many people call me the serve surgeon. I like to find the details. I like to break things down. Now, if you enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead and make sure you're subscribed. Turn on your notifications so that you can be updated 
on the newest videos that we release at Tennis Evolution. We really appreciate you taking the time. Leave a comment or a question below, and I've also got a free gift for you. I am going to give you, uh, I'm going to reveal to you three serve myths that most players make. And you might be making one of these myths or all three of them, and I don't want you to make them. And I also want to give you the solution. So all you have to do is click the link in the description or somewhere in this video, and it will take you to a page where you can register to get to learn the three serve myths that you could be making along with the solution. So click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video to learn the three myths that players are making on their serves. You don't want to be making these, these mistakes. And we'll see you at the next video.